How do we decide who goes first? We're gonna see who has the biggest mouth. Hmm. Okay. How do we do this? I think it's pretty self-explanatory. What if they start going down the back of my throat? You know, not everything you put in your mouth has to go to the back of your throat. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Stop! Okay, now say fluffy bunny. <laughs> That is gross and disgusting and should both be ashamed. <laughs> I thought I'd get like 20 in there. It's just delicious. Hey guys, welcome to Retrocadia. I'm Eddie. I'm Jeff. Today we're gonna be playing Jeff Pick This, Echo the Dolphin. Echo the Dolphin was released for the Sega Genesis in 1993 and it spawned a sequel and a spin-off for the Genesis and there was also a reboot on the Dreamcast. There's a reboot on the Dreamcast? The game was developed by Ed Annunziata who claimed he was inspired by sea monkeys and by the book Sounding which was how creatures use echolocation. This game was inspired by Sounding, basically. Which dictionary should they look that up in? <laughs> so what are we drinking? It's a blue dolphin. Are we drinking the dolphin or are we drinking cool water? This blue is dolphins. Like this is chlorinated, isn't it? Oh, this is too fast for me. Oh my god, it's so cool. The blue matches our drinks. My family! Oh. You have to ruin everything. See, you shouldn't have done that. Oh, right, they suck up all my family. Who sucked up your family? Seawall? <laughs> <laughs> we'll do something, this is boring. Go in the hole. Oh, there's an orca. Don't you shoot rays of contact lenses at them? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How many minutes did it take to find the attack buttons? Talk to me! I know not what has happened to your pod. This was my mermaid phase. I wanted to be a mermaid. Search for the key. Which half do you want to be a fish if you were a mermaid? Are you asking if I would like to have legs and then a fish face? I need the glyphs. Where's the glyphs? Stop it! This is usually when we have someone look up how to pass this level. So no! Not. Justin, put your phone down. We're gonna pass the first level. I'm just gonna sonar the shit out of everything. I know not of your pod. Were they those little round things that you used to throw at other round things? Those are boggles. Oh, pogs! Just hug the bottom. I'll eventually get you there. That's kind of my plan. <laughs> that was it. You died. How did I die? Now drink your drink. What did you do? You can open up a map if you hold it down. How did you know that? How did you know that? How do you remember? Why didn't you tell me that? Why were you keeping that a secret? I didn't remember. You're so selfish. You're be so shellfish. Be a little shellfish. Be a little shellfish. Who sang that song? Eddie? Did Eddie sing that? Because I feel like you no, just No! He did not sing that. Um, Chris... One of the blonde women from the 90s did. Hanson? Uh, Britney. Britney Spears sang Be a Little Shellfish. Or maybe it was Selfish. No. Stop that. Go, Eddie, stop. Go. <laughs> what? I did that and, and that no, didn't then happen. Swam away and it no, was I hit it and nothing happened. This is a very boring retro game. Yeah. Whose idea was this? This was my idea. Drink more martini and it'll get more interesting. That's true. We need to make this less about the game. It's <laughs> so strong. We gotta swim slowly past eight arms. So I don't know what that shell does. Push it to the right. Push it to the right. Right, 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 right. To the right, to the right. Yeah! For whatever reason that works. So do it again. You're going to die, Eddie. Oh, there is air. What was that about me dying? That's not the controller that you were doing that to. Oh, okay, swim slowly. That's not what octopuses look like. Ah! What do you mean? That's exactly what an octopus looks like. There we go. Why does that work? That doesn't make any sense. It's not logical. Picking this game for Retrocadia was not logical. This game is amazing. This is the best thing since Mega Man. Ah! Oh, come on! You have to go through that tunnel. Come on! Get the... And clap. I don't know why we clap. Was there a reason why we clap? I've, you told me to. I just do what I'm told. Not all the time. This game's so happy. There's nothing happy about it. This is so happy. Who doesn't want to be a dolphin? J-Lo. What? Never mind. Do you have moments where your synapses just randomly fire and just <laughs> words come out? J-Lo. Pastry chefs. Bicycle tires. Stop snickering, Scott. We try this. Maybe we should have Scott play a bit. Scott. What's going on here? <laughs> you should just go wham into the thing. I hope we got it on tape. I'll start spilling all of the uh, inner secrets about this. Like the fact that you're actually nice people. 
Give me the Cliff's Notes. What's happened in the game so far? I can only focus on the pain. It's called a seashell, but it looks kind of like a like Cheyenne traffic cone butt plug thing. Yeah, that. A what traffic cone butt plug? A Cheyenne? Yeah, to like the... Cheyenne? Cheyenne? Who's Cheyenne? A Cheyenne traffic cone butt plug. What's that? Okay, See, you don't, not so uh, easy, is it? Oh, okay. Now you know who does the real work in Retrocadia. He's not responding. You have to, you have to go I, the other I way. I have to go the other way. Oh, there's another way. But not get attacked by these Kevins. Kevins? Yeah, that was the name of the pufferfish in Finding Nemo. Mel. So Mel. Kevin was the pufferfish? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Hi, Siri. How are you this evening? Can you tell me what the name of the pufferfish is in Finding Nemo? That was so pretentious. You are so polite to your Siri. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. But you didn't find my answer for me. Is that so? What would your pod name be? Are what we talking about pogs or pods? Pod, a dolphin pod. We're playing the dolphin game. What's the convention of naming a pod? I don't know. The posse of dolphins would be live with porpoise. That was clever. Is don't act too impressed. I'm clever sometimes. Can you pull up an interesting passcode? You play the game, I'm gonna sit here and pun. How about ice Behind zone? Me. Ice zone? Dark, cold waters with few places to breathe. That sounds awful. But you know what we're not having, Jeff? A whale of a time. I can't. <laughs> we need to focus on the game here. Okay, yeah, yeah, down, no, 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 I wanna get away. air, I need air! See what I have to No, you guys would've let me die, I need air! Do we eat these? Do you eat cranberries? Apparently they're te they taste terrible when they're unsweetened. But these ones are being drenched in chlorine. You can definitely eat them. Ah. So about that cheat code. Here, have a sip. Ah! What to be sober. I've never actually had like a whole cranberry. They make you, if you have UTI, they'll help. Oh god, that's awful. Oh, it's terrible. But it's really good for you. Frighten this Did you ride the rock past the current after? Like you ride Dwayne Johnson. Use the death nice. sonar I am shark. really impressed you got his name right. What nationality do you think Echo is? Because I think he's Finnish. Wow. There's refried beans. Yeah, that's disgusting. Why it. do you have refried beans? I kept it for you. I was gonna wrap it up. For now Christmas I know what to get you for Christmas. Christmas. I'm gonna have a cat throw up in a can, and I'll give it to you for Christmas. We're done, Jeff. This is this is the have end some cat day. puke. It's like being in the middle of a lovely spat. Yeah. Refried beans are disgusting. So, are things better down where it's wetter under the sea? <laughs> what do we think about the game? Who's the guy? The Let's Play guy, or the reviewer guy that does like all the animations. Eddie. Me? No! They're all like the stick figure animations. David Letterman, right? Like, cause he does all those... Yes, Eddie. David Letterman, who does all those video game reviews with stick men. So. Scott, what did you think of this game? I thought it was mildly disappointing. Like watching the people on either side of you drink alcohol. Have a cranberry. Oh god. No, no. try it, try it, try it. Yeah. Just, uh, it's an experience. Uh. I refuse to eat the cranberry. Apparently Australians are not adventurous. We didn't give our arbitrary you just spilled <laughs> vodka all over yourself. On Echo. I thought this game was really good. The graphics were awesome. When it came out, it was like, it was unlike any other game I'd ever played. It was puzzle based. I don't know, that was fun. That was really cool. I liked it as a kid, I like it now. I think this was one of my favorite Sega games. So Eddie, what do you think of it? So, so Eddie, what, what do you, you think? think? I found this game really boring. <laughs> I'm sorry, this game requires you to be intelligent. When you try to make the dolphin go, it's not, Precise. That's your problem. That's a you problem. When you're at those spikes, those spikes, meow, 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 they hit you like 20 times. Is you that don't the sound they make? Bounce. Yeah. So can we at least say that this game was unique? No, this is like Solar Jetman. I give it six cans of tuna out of ten. I'm gonna give it five koi floating belly up in a pool out of ten. I'm gonna give it eight and a half ravaged barrier reefs out of ten. Ravaged barrier teeth. Ravaged great barrier reefs out of ten. Oh my. It's a tongue twister. It's really not a tongue twister. Ravage great barrier beef set of ten. What do we call a dolphin's genitals? Let's ask Siri again. Wait, Siri, dolphin, what do you dude? call the genitals of a dolphin? Does that say how to have sex with a dolphin? How to have sex with a dolphin and why you should. Hi! That's the second one! I'll take what is a suspicious Google history for 500, Alex. <laughs> I'm regretting coming on this side of the camera. I hope you guys keep having uh, amazing fun making these, and uh, yeah. Have, fun, have in so much fun in the UK. Retrocadia UK. Yeah, we'll have to get to London sometime. Are you gonna be in London? So I was going to Italy, right? Because it's where the Pope shits. And see.